Okay, we did the unboxing of the dory, and then we took it out to the Indian River in Melbourne, Florida, part of the Indian River Lagoon area, and which has a, it's got a tide, but this baby goes from two to five miles an hour, depending on whether you're in low and high, low or high. And uh, it has those two Cree lights, which really help you out when the water gets a little murky. Now when you get too close to the bottom, you start stirring up the muck. So that's another consideration there. And it takes a little bit to get used to the controls after you set them in your custom mode, how you like them. Because they are a little different than operating uh, an air drone, let's put it that way. All right, so let's see what kind of video this can take. Remember that it has about a six foot range on the 1080p 30 f1.6 camera all right let's go to the videotape okay here's my granddaughter with the ipad mini 4 and as you can see you can also put the normal sun hood on the ipad or your android tablet and it's not going to get in the way because you're holding it with both hands and you're going to be using your thumb and you know to go up and down and the other side is to go forward backward left and right okay here we take her out exploring we get closer to uh, I believe this was at the bottom of a dock area yeah, there was a dock up close. And look at that on the right. That's somebody's cell phone. And now we got a tide coming at us. So I'm in low. Controlling it. I'm letting the tide take it back. And then in low speed I'm going forward. Remember, this is uh, my first time. It takes you a, a, a little bit to get used to manipulating the controls. Something like this, you don't want to go on high speed because then you'll buzz right by it, you know what I mean? So take your time. Get used to operating it. And then also, you, remember, you're going to have to be working with the tides plenty of fish around there but you know what once you see that cell phone you're like all right there's got to be something else I can find in there there's got to be somebody's keys a wallet any of that stuff <laughs> you get a little uh, treasure hungry at this point Here we're at the bottom of a dock, and you can see it just waving there as I'm not forcing it to go forward. And now I'm coming up. This is the condition of the actual dock underwater. As you can see, I, th I believe a boat had just gone by and was making it a little more difficult than I wanted. And here I made it go down. Now watch this because if you go down too far, you create your own muck field. See that? And now you have to drive out of that to get a clear picture again. So remember that part. Here we're still looking around under the docks. Now is that another phone? I don't know. So I'm gonna have to go back and check that out. But you see what I mean? You get looking for gold fever there. Now here we're back at the dock. We're actually checking out underneath the dock. 
actually looks pretty good here. But I think it was just the end parts that had all the barnacles all over them. This is looking up from underneath the dock. You can have the drone facing up and holding its position. You know, looking straight ahead or facing down. And there's your cord. Eh, you're going to get that in your shots. It's just the way life is. Okay, so you just drive it back to you. You have an hour of floating around, driving around with that 4,800 milliwatt hour amp hour battery. And there's the iPad. You'll see. It takes a minute or two to get used to, once or twice, but you can do it okay. and you'll have fun. That was our first trip out with the Dory. I guess it's named after those John Dory boats. By Chasing Innovations. It's available now for $4.99. And there's also a backpack available. But you saw how easy it was to carry everything. Um, if you have uh, an area that you can use this in, I think you're going to have a good time with it. We'll see you next time. We'll talk about operating the apps and stuff. Have a good day.